All right, boys. So technically speaking, um, and I'm pretty sure I talked about it this last, this last time. I don't, it looks like I don't have to, uh, sit here and actually go through, uh, what is it? I don't have to do this. It's an optional thing, but basically for me to leave, I can just open the door. It looks like I can just open the cargo bay door. The problem is, is that I feel like that actually would kill everybody. And I feel like there's just too much. I, I think I can still build this up and say pretty much save as much people as I can. We'll define a cutting torch. We need to get into these cargo cages to see what supplies are in here, Sarah. You poor bastard. Notes. Locked out until I can update my credentials. How about Reployer, Reployer? Won't forget that anytime soon. Gus Mago's password alert. Hey, Lane. This is Gus down in cargo. Hey, listen, uh, did you order any Reployers from Earth? Order any what? Reployer. It's a machine. A uh, machine. What does it do? Well, I'm not sure. I was hoping that you could tell me. <sighs> Wait, is this some kind of a joke? I I'm, I'm busy. You're an industrial designer, right? So I thought you would know. <sighs> you obviously don't understand what I do. And I didn't order any deployer. Reployer. Ask somebody in engineering. I did. I've been asking everyone. No one ordered it or knows anything about it. Weird. Well, perhaps I can come down this evening and take a look at it. That'd be great. Thanks, Lane. Yeah, no problem. Huh. That didn't sound weird at all. I'm glad I saw that. But there we go. Power's back on. Power circuit checks out and fabricators online. You did it. We're not done with you yet. So get back here safe, all right? Oh, cool. Cool. I was afraid this might happen. Our lead Neuromod engineer, Alden Graves, hit a kill switch in the license for Neuromod plans. Shame. He was a solid engineer. I think he was suspicious of the more exotic components. You'll need to use this workstation to reset the license. His office is in the Neuromod division. Copy protection. What? Find Holden Graves' office near Mod Division. Wait, why is that? Lead Neuromod engineer Holden Graves revoked all Neuromod fabrication licenses. I need to find his office and figure out how to reset the licenses if I ever want to make another Neuromod. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that's so irritating. Oh, that's so irritating. Okay. That's a Neuromod Division. Oh, that means I have to get out of here first. I guess it's so that's a, like a protection so that way... Um, the game's like, okay, you're, you've made too many Neuromods. You're making too many. That way we don't like, basically, instead of playing the game, I guess, like we just make shitloads of them. How do I get up there? Okay. So I, there has to be a way to lower that, right? Oh, hey. Yeah. Let's uh, take this over here. Put this in front of the door. Okay. There has to be a way to control those things. Ah, haha. Aha. There we go. Okay, okay. Six, two, four, one. Oh, shit. You found the eradicator schematic. If only we'd had those turrets earlier. Keep an eye out for materials to build them. Schematics half the battle. Once they're built, though, I can't wait to see what they do to our new friends. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, wait, wait. How many do I need to make? Let me start to load a bit. Uh, fabricating turrets is one way to go, but if if I search this area, I might find some already assembled. Oh, so I could literally just take in the two that were just chilling there. All right, well, we're still going to go ahead and make some. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, 
Yeah, never mind. I need a bunch of metal. And unfortunately, I don't have that. That's a damn shame. Okay. Well. You're coming over here with me, buddy. Place turrets in the loading zone of Cargo Baby. Oh, in the loading zone. Oh, my bad. Place turrets on the loading zone of Cargo Bay B. Place one more turn in the loading zone of Cargo Bay B. I need metal. Continue your door well done, Miss Magel. Mr. Magel, as a safety precaution, we have disabled the critical machinery required to open the exterior door of Cargo Bay B. Um, and as added insurance, the door has been welded shut. If that bay is for storage only, then we want to be certain there can be no accidental opening. Restoring the bay door to full function will be practically impossible. Thank you. What the hell? Hey, Andrews. Mother shipment failure. Dispatch an engineer and operator to check it out and something weird happened. Telemetry shows it ran into something sort of energetic lattice work. The readings were unlike anything I've seen. Side effect from a psychotronics project? In any case, the operator was able to move through it and investigate. Shortly after, it became unresponsive. I'm going to have to get human eyes on it, but all of our people are tied up with critical fuel transfer. When that's done, I'll send someone to check it out. Thanks. Catastrophic accident report. There was a bla blast in Cargo Bay A. Exterior doors ruptured. All the bulkhead doors automatically sealed, but several of my people were missing. Dr. Igwe from Psychotronics was in there, and he's gone as well. Ekaterina said uh, she saw a floating orb drift over the chlorine trifluoride container and detonate. Possibly some kind of static discharge, but all the dampeners were activated. Secondary blast went off not long ago in fuel storage, but I have that sealed tight and no one was in there. Something's going on. Nobody's calling me back. Let me know as soon as you get this. I'm going to take the rest of my people over to life support as a precaution. Cargo 1 controls. Cage 1 controls. Oh! Nice! Wait, what? Oh, open cage one, open cage two. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, another turret. Cool, 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 cool. Put that one, buddy, right there. Deploying. There we go. Baby. Hopefully that medical close. operator's ready to go. Because we're going to need it after this. Where's the... Oh, here it is. EATs are online and primed. Can't wait until our friends get a taste of these. Here's the code for Cargo Bay B. Cool. Before sliding the door open, check your surroundings. Take a mental snapshot. You start seeing double of anything, be sure you know which target to shoot. All right, boys. <laughs> We're gonna quick save. <laughs> All right, everybody ready? Everybody ready to go? All right, boys. Officer do Maddox, ready? We doing this? We doing this? All right, everybody's ready. One eight five three. I hope. Wasn't sure how that would play out, but I like how it did. You can hold out indefinitely. If you send other survivors here, I will protect them. Soldier to the end. Should have spoken our mind more. Damn. 
I need okay. a cigarette. We showed him. They did a lot better than I thought they would. I thought they were, as soon as the first person died, I was Morgan, like, oh god, they're all gonna die. Asses. Now, you might want to get out there and see if you can save a few more. Absolutely. Uh, find Holden Graves' office. Yeah, I, th I really need to do this one. I, I need to do the... I need to find my way to the Mir Niramod division again. Guts loading bay. Oh, great. Oh, Micah, great. Not sure you got your transcribe. Morgan's making his way to you now. Warning, he's... And anyone else. So you don't shoot him accidentally. Or... Or on purpose. On purpose. Morgan? I thought he was Elsai. Oh, that's right. Morgan? Mikhaila. I didn't think to check your transcribe. <clears throat> not sure how you got here. I thought you left because... Never mind. Airlocks and lifts are locked up. Like my lungs. Paraplexis. I'm even seeing the spots now. You were right. <clears throat> even if I could get my booster shots from my office. But I think I can get us out. <clears throat> By cycling the main reactor to bypass the lock bulb. I know it sounds crazy, but I can walk you through it. I do it myself, but... We'll just get here, all right? Wasn't she the one that sounded like the very beginning when like left us an email and it sounded like they were in a relationship? She was like, um, you pe you walked right by me like we you didn't even know me. Like the least we could do is talk. We're still going to end up working together or something like that. Okay. 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 I, th I, s I honestly do think that that's what was. What the fuck? Oh, God damn it. Not another freaking telepath. All right, boys. Scan. Scan complete. More specimens required. I might have to take the Oh, the interest of the power plant. Oh, great. Okay. So I gotta go this way. I gotta kill this guy. So I can get into the freaking power plant. You son of a bitch. Alright, let's go. Oh. Quick save. There he is. That son of a bitch. Oh, hey, I can scan him. Hang on, let's scan him real quick. I swear, it looks like they, like, are reacting to me in a way that they're literally making armor around themselves. Like, is, is it just me, or does that look almost like surgery? Really? I can't even get into him? Like, I mean, I can't even get in there to go after him? Hey! Open the door! Let me in, you ass... strange coming from me but I admire what you did you didn't have to help chief Elazar and her people in the cargo bay especially considering well considering you intend to destroy the station you gave them some hope even if it's brief I mean I don't see where else I could go Oh, you poor bastard. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna put you out of your misery. Uh, tracking bracelet. card exactly yeah the klaxon even sounded but the hatch won't close we can't separate hang on i'm looking at the schematics there should be a remote sensor on the explosive bolts alika please hurry i see all the leads but wait this can't be right can you launch us from there can you at least close the goddamn hatch uh no i don't think so is there a manual crank of some sort? Remmer. Remmer, do you copy? Have you seen Price? <sighs> what? He didn't show up for a shift again. He's not answering his transcribe. I even asked Abigail to check his cabin before she came in. 
HR is going to ship his ass home for sure this time. He was already on thin ice. Thought he was doing good. With the Naltrek zone? Seeing Dr. Cole? I'll call security and have them track him down. Hopefully, he's okay. But basically, a couple people died because uh, they just, the freaking things wouldn't shut. I figured um, he would have launched them all. I, I love how it's like, hey, kill the guy who's locking this stuff up. And I'm like, okay, cool. He's right there. He's literally right here on the other side of the stupid freaking door. And I can't do anything. But I'm not going to complain about that. Ah. That's funny. That's absolutely hilarious. Their explosion set off the trap. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. Do not share with Weber. 1302. Security booth safe code. in the hall by the escape pods. No time to rig a drop. Good luck, Evie. Why is Frost? You wanted to speak to me? Yes, I'd like to arrange a time to oversee installation of a special particle injector in the water treatment facility. Hang on. You want me to do what now? I've already confirmed the inlet and outlet fittings are to spec. And just what precisely is this thing supposed to inject into our water supply? I'm not at liberty to say. Uh-huh. Well, then, we have a problem, Tobias. Dr. Kelstrup has already seen and approved. I'm going to need to see a signature from Alex or Morgan or something like that. But so, until I see ink on a dotted line, you'll just have to keep showing your special injector to Dr. Kelstrup. Psychic water? Install the psychoactive particle injector in the water treatment facility. Message of Transfers mentioned psychoactive particle uh, injector. He wanted to connect to the station's water supply. Now that I have the device, I just need to figure out where in the water treatment facility to plug it in. The facility area is on the left. Okay, particle injector. So I bet you anything if I did this, it, every time I drank from the water, it would, uh, since it, it would heal me and it'll increase my sight. Like it'll refill it. So that's actually kind of cool. All right, boys, hopefully it's this way. I have no idea where to go in order to open that stupid door, so we're going to find out. Well, shit, uh, I don't, I have no idea where the hell to go. Fan controls. I must repair pants must be running at all times temporary and interrupt the entire fan arrays. Should never last longer than 30 seconds. Check fans. Fan 3 jam. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I don't know what I just did there, but fans are on. Alright boys, I'm still trying to figure out how the hell to get into that reactor room, so... If I find anything else, I'll let you guys know. Hey boys, alright, so... Found out that I can lift this grate. 
What is that? Security. Oh, that's the key card for the security office. Okay. Well, all right. So let's go to the security office then. Oh, hey. All right. Let's see what else we found in here. Nothing in there. What's up, buddy? Appreciate ya. Oh. 13.02. So I was right. So the code was for this thing. Uh, selling special fabrication plan. Uh, never mod. Okay, cool. Noise, noise, noise. Count of evacuation day three. Driven far enough that our fuel ran out. More jets flew over headed towards the city. One circled back and made several passes over us, but did not shoot. That's what we sat by the empty truck and listened to the booming of artillery. Flashes of bombs and lightning covered the horizon. The morning, our city was lost in what appeared to be shimmering heat waves. High overhead, there were brilliant flashes of light. Some said it was an atomic bomb, and others said it was God's wrath. Today, I know it was just an accident. Scientists that thought they knew everything, but they did not. There were so many people lost that day. So many that I can barely comprehend it, but it was Eliza that hurt my heart. I know she was just a dog, and I am ashamed of my feelings. But she did not make this world we live in. She was mine to protect, and I failed. Aww. Get out of the way, buddy. All right. Priorities. We're bringing, um, I think you know I screwed you over, but I'm just doing my job. What am I supposed to do? You tell me you're having nightmares, and I feel compelled to hide out. Well, that's fine. But when you say you want to find a bunker, stock it with supplies, and get your hands on a shotgun? Not cool. We were getting along so well. Uh, but I guess we have to be all business from now on. Okay. Officer T. Corrective action. Officer Weber. Well, aware that you've made repeated attempts to direct requisition your shotgun, a weapon that is clearly outside your duty description, that you didn't come to me with this first is unfortunate. You've been a dedicated officer, so I'm not jumping to any conclusions, but as a precaution, your access to the safe and the life support security station are revoked until we sort this out. I've, I've been there, Alton. This job can be stressful. I won't turn my back on you, but I have to follow procedures. I'll contact you shortly to set up a meeting. Missing engineer. Life support engineer Jean Fair's last known duty was uh, to repair life support related machinery and power plant. In addition, she has the one remaining key card to air filtration control. Please find her ASAP. Air filtration control. Oh. Okay. Well, that was cool and all. Still trying to figure out how the hell to get into the stupid reactor control room. Um, so I'm gonna see if I'm gonna come back in here and see if I missed anything. Um, I'll, I'll see you guys in a second if I find anything. All right, boys. It looks like I didn't notice that this door was unlocked. And I know that there's a poltergeist around here somewhere. Alrighty, so I'm in here now. Anything interesting? Okay, there's a control panel there. Oh, oh this is Jean. Jean. It's or Jean. Mariana. I can't get in. I tried the airlock at power plant, but it's got some kind of a lockdown on it. And there's something else. I saw something when I was checking the last O2 station. An ovoid mass, roughly the size of a truck, maybe? Hard to tell because it was silhouetted. I mean, it could have just been debris, loose tubing, I, I don't know, but it scared the shit out of me. God, I sound crazy. I just gotta breathe. I'm gonna try another airlock, then I'll call back. Uh, precautions and things. Atmosphere crew. Um, two quick notes. I know this goes uh, without saying, but remember to take extra safety precautions, especially if you've been awake for more than 20 hours. I don't want to see someone dozing off and falling into turbines. Also, special thanks to Divya for maintaining the decontamination chamber doors. We've gone four months without having to flush the air with this subsection. So great work. 
utilities, decontamination. Atmosphere control is a class 100 clean room. Uh, pursuant to Transtar standard 309 Fahrenheit, uh, or 309 F, sorry. Concentration of airborne part uh, particulates uh, must be controlled to within specified limits. Particulates rise uh, above acceptable levels initiate decontamination procedure. Warning all personnel inside atmosphere control should have proper suits to handle temporary loss of oxygen. Contamination procedure initiated. Oxygen flush commencing in five, four, three, two, one. Hazardous atmosphere conditions. Decontamination completed successfully. Stand by for oxygenation. Hmm. Oxygen levels no. Okay, I have no idea what I just did, but alright. We did it. Anyways, let's see if we can figure out how the hell to get into that stupid room. Alright, boys. I'll, I'll see you guys in a minute. Maybe. I don't know. Hopefully. Okay, boys, I found a way up. There's a lot of freaking climbing on parkour from pipe to pipe, but I found a, I found a way up here, at least. I don't know if there's anything up here, but we're about to find out. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, jeez. All right, we're going to save. This... You guys don't even know how long I've been just wandering around, looking around. I just... This is insanity. All right, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even in the mood to fuck with this guy. Where's my? Here it is. Yeah, we're gonna fuck shit up. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Not in the mood. Okay, first things first, let's see if we can basically open up these doors. Oh, we can't. Shit. Okay. Um, supervisor authors in this request certifies that all safety factors have been considered and are satisfactory. Using psychotronics. Department requesting psychotronics request prepared by Dr. Tobias Frost. Area of work. Yeah. Area of work. Last support water treatment facility. Work to be done. Install a psychoactive particle injector. Henceforth, PPI. I would like to get your approval to connect the PPI to the station uh, water supply. In essence, the PPI will alter the composition of drinking water by one part per million by mixing certain particles at regular intervals. Imbibing the water should positively impact psychoactive potential. Oh my god. So that is that is what he was going to do. Do director signature? No, director signature. This fucker was really trying to do some shit. Uh, why don't you turn the, yeah, we're turning the power on. Okay, door's open now. Oh, okay. Alright, let us loot real quick. Investigate urban baffles map. Oh. Vodka. Cheers. Price brought away's password acquired. Alright, um, I care. Price, I have always had your back, but you are pushing things too far right now. I have to get a grip. People are noticing Price, um, you know, some Price. People higher up the chain than us. Quit avoiding Dr. Cole and just go talk to him. I believe you can get through this. Let me help. M. Working under the influence. Hello, Price. According to the information I've received, you pose a danger to yourself and the, those around you. Um, I cannot oversee the seriousness of attempting to perform your duties on this station while under the influence of alcohol. I've written a prescription for you. You must take the medication, refrain from alcohol, and remain in crew quarters until we can meet. Uh, you're temporarily suspended from duty, and Chief Aleutian is has a, a concurred. Unlock eel tank controls. Cool. Um, Abigail Foy. 
Uh, harvesting protocols. Abby, please make sure your crew takes extreme caution when handling the harvesting equipment. Recently, a bottle of old starter bourbon empty was found in a batch of eels we sent up, and I can only assume someone in our division accidentally dropped it in, our, in the tank. No one wants to chew glass when they bite into an unagi, unagi roll or anything else for that matter. Eel extraction, adults, yeah, my brother, diet, ditch or war. Uh, note, the containment tank automatically monitors eel growth and will filter out juvenile eels during extraction. Damn it, just died. Oh man. Price Broadway. What is this? Yield tank maintenance manual. Price Broadway. Abigail Foy price. Uh yield tank procedure price. Yields do a pretty good job of eating up all the waste, yeah, but there's built up that even the eels can't clean off. You have to scrape the tank every month first. I'm just gonna tell you to clear out any mature eels is on the tank workstation when that's done you can enter the tank i'd also suggest shutting off the effluent uh valve flow unless you just like taking a a water taking a shower in your co-worker's toilet uh toilet water and please watch your step eels are mostly blind but they have a nasty bite and you don't want to get wounded in that water trust me okay well i guess that was mainly just to find him all right, boys, we finally did it. Okay, so, yep, yeah, that's it. That's it. Gonna be it for tonight. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.